welcome to Service Plus Academy's course, Becoming a Motorpreneur, Part 1. This course is going to be your first foundational step towards helping you achieve your dream of starting up your own multi-brand two-wheeler service center, just like how I did. So before we get started, let's spend some time to get to know each other. My name is Prateek and I'm the co-founder of Service Plus. Exactly seven years back, I was in the same space where you are right now. I wanted to start up a service center and I knew I wanted to do it really bad. I did not know where to start. I did not know how to do it. I did not have any technical experience. I did not have any work experience, but I just had one thing with me. I wanted to start my multi-brand two-wheeler service center no matter what. At that time, all I could think of was Okay, before I even start to, before I even go out to start my own service center, let me look out and let me reach out to certain people or certain places or certain companies which could help me with setting up my service center. Unfortunately, there was nothing I could find at that time. And the only, al only alternative option that I had was first, I reached out to a couple of my local mechanics in my area whom I've been giving my bikes for service for quite some time. And I asked them if I can spend some time in their workshop and uh, if they could teach me the basics or the skills of the trade. And you will not believe, but everyone just gave me a straight no on my face. They were like, so I'm so sorry, we can't do that because uh, if we're busy with work and we don't have time to teach new people. So the second best option I thought was, what do I do? I basically reached out to a lot of uh, dealerships in my area Bajaj, Rolling Field, Hero, you can name it. And since I was just finishing up college that time, I applied for an internship over there. Uh, almost everyone uh, allowed me to get into the internship. But once I got into the internship, I realized and I found out that no one was taking any kind of effort to teach me stuff. I was just there on my own, trying to do what I could do, trying to learn what I could learn, just finish up the 10 day thing to get my certificates and all sorted. Uh, so I spent a considerable amount of time interning at different different dealerships, but I could not even gather a little bit of the confidence that I needed to start my own workshop. And uh, that was a very tough situation to be in. I mean, I wanted to start, but I just was getting frustrated. Ye kaise hoga yaar? And who's going to tell me stuff? Who's going to help me out with this stuff? And I was not having any experience with that. Uh, that's when basically I realized that, you know, there, there aren't many places where I can get all the help in a consolidated space or in a in a planned specified manner and the only way for me to do it was basically to do it in the first place so the foundation for service plus was laid seven years back where i decided to take the leap of faith i took out a small 10 feet by 10 feet space on rent in an industrial area of town uh, bought myself a, a very basic set of tools to start with and started working on my own bikes as well as the bikes of my friends uh, saying that I'm going to work on your bike for free of course and just pay for the parts whatever labor I'll take it off I'll take care of it so I used to start I, I started working out with these bikes with doing some basic stuff like general servicing oil filter change air filter change blah 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 and then slowly and steadily just through the bikes that I have I was able to connect from my friend circles I started to learn the tricks of the trade the technicalities of this bike, one by one, one by one, one by one, every day, day in and day out. And it took me almost a year and yeah, almost 30 months until I had not made a single rupee in profit. I was paying the rent of the workshop from my own pocket because I was not charging labor to my customers, to my, because most of my customers were my friends of friends of friends. And, um, I was, it took me about 13 months to be able to realize that, okay, this is the time now where I have, where I'm confident enough that at least I can start to put up a proper shop, a proper service center and not just a makeshift service center. That's when basically I decided that this is the point where service plus starts. And uh, so I gave up that small space, which was on rent. And now with this 13 months of insane amount of experience being doing everything single-handedly. I was able to put together a set of mechanics for myself, teach them, train them as how I wanted them to train. I was able to get the help of some other experienced mechanics with whom I had made relationships by the time. 
I was able to get some help from my family and friends in helping me set up my entire service center. And that's basically how I started up with my first outlet in, of Service Plus in Ananagar in Chennai. And this was a very, very, very tiresome journey. This was, this was very difficult. The first 13 months were mad. I was not making a single rupee. I was spending almost 12 to 14 hours, six days a week, seven days a week in my workshop. Uh, almost every bike that I worked on had an issue which I could not solve. And almost every bike that I, I worked on needed some kind of expertise in the form of a mechanic uh, coming over to my place or in the form of me having to spend hours and hours on the internet or YouTube and trying to find videos or making phone calls to my friends who were, you know, in different places of the, in different parts of the country. So yeah, this is, this is my part, man. I mean, this is, this is how I've been able to build Service Plus and it has been a very tiring a very uh, tough but very very interesting journey. I have no regrets taking that path and I'm very happy that wherever I stand in front of you today after being able to say that I have I've been I'm operating multiple service centers across the country right now uh, being able to cater to thousands and thousands of customers so far till date being able to provide employment to so many people who are working for us and being able to put together a team of passionate people who work around motorcycles. This is definitely more than just a dream come true from, for me. And this is the kind of journey which I did not even think of I was getting on. But slowly and steadily, when your, when your milestones keep crossing, your dreams keep getting bigger and bigger. And that's what has brought me here today. And I hope that the only thing that I want to be able to, I want, to be, I want you to be able to understand is that the, the sole reason for me being here today in front of this camera for speaking to you is just because how I could not find anyone to help me when I needed the help in setting up my workshop. I don't want anyone else to be in that same position again. And that's why we are doing this video. That's why we are looking at Service Plus Academy. And that's the main reason for the existence of Service Plus Academy. If it was just for my personal gain, I would be very happy sitting in my workshops, working on bikes and making the money that I'm making anyways. But Service Plus Academy as an initiative is very, very close to my heart because this is basically I have found my way of being able to give back to the society in terms of giving away whatever I have learned to those people who are genuinely interested in what they want to do and genuinely focused with what they want to do. So you being here in this video is the first indication that you have taken the first foundational step towards building your service center. And trust me, I'm going to be there with you every step on every path that you take to be able to guide you like a proper mentor and teach you not only how to start a service center, but also how to run a service center, how to be successful with your service center, how to expand your service centers and how to take care of everything around you so before we proceed with 